Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. After a short break with the Technic Formula 1 cars, we are back in the Speed Champions garage with another March 2024 release, the 76920 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. On the front of the box you can see the car and the generic city skyline. On the back of the box there is a rear shot, a close-up of the front of the car and a photo of the real Mustang. There's also a very cool Ford sticker on the side of the box, which you won't find another recent set. Let's open it. The set has 344 pieces, the price is 27 euros or dollars, and it will be available from the 1st of March. All pre-order options and local prices can be found via the link in the description or in the pinned comment. We have four numbered bags in the box, another bag with the wheel covers, a separate base part, the manual and the reassuringly small sticker sheet. Here's the parts list if you are interested, now let's start building. Here's the driver. I like the custom prints on the torso, it looks really cool. Interestingly, the light bluish grey helmet only appeared in three sets before this one. Even funnier is that the last one was the Lion Knight's Castle. The base begins with a quick trick, we have some shifted layers here. Here is the steering wheel, the first Mustang sticker, and then comes the central screen which is attached with a clip. The two seats are made with some unusual part usage, and here is the dark blue shifter, it's a microphone part that is new in this color. These transparent tiles serve no purpose here, I mean their color, they are used elsewhere in the set and simply fit here as well. The seat headrests are attached with clips, I like the solution. I remember having a lot of red 1x1 round plates in the Speed Champion sets a few years ago, now they seem to have been replaced by these flower elements. This new large bracket piece is also included in the set, it gives us a lot more space in the car. More brackets and flowers, then we add the dark horse stickered slopes to the side. That's our build at the end of bag 1. It's time to add the rear axle. As well as the many brackets, there are some unusual red Technic pins here, at least unusual in a Speed Champion set. Well, they are here to support those tricky assemblies with the black candles, acting as exhaust pipes, very nice. I really like it when different connection methods are integrated, the previous assemblies are secured in place by the wheel arches. Hey, the Technic pins aren't done yet, here's another assembly that attaches to them. A few plates, more flowers of course, and here are the tail lights with some bars on the other side. I'm not sure if you've noticed previously, but these clips are not the same, they are slightly offset from each other. We attach the tail light assembly to the lower ones, it sits at a nice angle, but the real trick is not this one. Do you see that nice printed tile with the Dark Horse logo and the rest of the lights? Well, we have another one in the set. Why? What? Is that a mistake? What's going on? Well, check this out. We attach them together and boom! Wait, let me add more lights. The pattern of the tail lights is still sticking out on this horizontal tile. And why? I put them in place, attached to the top clips and here's the reason. Because this is exactly what the tail lights of the new Mustang Dark Horse look like, this is absolutely mind-blowing Lego sorcery, the best building solution of this wave so far. Then we casually fix the rear section in place with these pieces and add some transparent parts for the windows, that's the end of bag 2. Here comes the tinted rear window, attached with clips of course, following the roof line nicely. Then comes the fixed rear wing and we move on to the front axle era with a couple of nice shiny printed slopes, one of which is unfortunately slightly damaged. A similar pattern for the sides, but this time with stickers. We've got a nice red engine bay, the front wheel arches and here's another exciting assembly with red flowers that we need to turn upside down so the bars slide into place. Now look at this, a transparent minifig holder attached to that clip and we have the angled lights. Here's the grill, it's a sticker, the whole thing is attached with a single stud and we have the perfect signature look with the triangles and they are brick built. That's the look at the end of bag 3. Here's a nice knot assembly for the hood, weight clips again, attached to the bars that hold the grill section, a nice combination. The end is near, we finish the hood and also use the new wedge tiles, then here are the rear view mirrors. And finally, a nice surprise that many people have asked for, we have smooth side scores thanks to these upside down tiles. And the last piece, the windshield, or build is finished. So here is the completed model and I have a confession to make. When I first saw the March 2024 sets, I thought the Mustang Dark Horse was going to be the least interesting member of the wave. It looked almost boring and I didn't really understand why LEGO had decided to release it. But man, for me this is the absolute positive surprise. It's a very cool and interesting build and in person it just looks gorgeous, that dark blue color is perfect. Really, there is no bad angle for this car. 
the front is nice and detailed, the side looks great and clean and the build on the rear still amazes me. I know the lines here are a bit too sharp and the snot build isn't quite consistent on the hood. I don't know much about plastic manufacturing, but I feel like these pieces reflect light in a slightly different way depending on how they are molded. We also have some visible studs, but this is Lego, we need to be reminded of that with a few studs. But this is really nitpicking, just look at the 6 stud wide version, it looks like a bad cartoon next to the new one. Interestingly, this set didn't get the new, slightly wider slick tires. Replacing one side with the wheels from the BMW makes it look even more aggressive, but I haven't found any spoke wheel covers that would fit these wheels, so I think it was a good decision to use the previous generation of wheels. The amount of stickers was perfectly fine on this model, and most importantly, the color of the dark blue stickers matches the color of the plastic, so everything works on this car. If you are a Speed Champions fan, a Mustang fan, a car fan or someone watching this video, I can't recommend this set enough, it's totally worth the price. I may sound too enthusiastic and probably biased, but trust me, I've been building sets of different sizes and themes non-stop in the past weeks and this small build has been the absolute highlight of the March releases so far. Someone even said that I've been complaining too much in my videos lately. Well, I complain when I find something that could have been done better, but I also praise the good solutions and this little set is really outstanding. Please let me know what you think of the car in the comment section, if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications because more exciting LEGO videos are coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.